Hello, my name is Mike Quebec, and for this video, I'm gonna show you how to work the freestanding bag, this one right behind me. Usually, you would fill up the bottom with either sand or water, depending on what's more convenient for you. Also, depending on if you've got a used freestanding bag, if it has a little bit of a leak, you probably would want to use sand. It takes more time. If you have a new freestanding bag, water is convenient. Um, we're going to be using it both for working our cardio, also for warming up initially. We're going to build a sweat. And I'm also going to show you how to work some body shots. Um, for our purposes, of course, working the body shots works our legs. So with that in mind, Let's do a little bit of a warm up. So this one is not very technical. All it is is just either rapidly walking in place or running in place. 30 seconds, this little bit of light punching right here. And then when we do 30 second blasts, up high, just right here. Whenever you go fast, whether we're doing this warm up or when you're throwing combinations, you want to relax your mind so that way you're not rapidly breathing, okay? You want to slow down your breathing, even if you're going fast. So for our purposes here, let's just do uh, two sets. Uh, 30 seconds warming up here, 30 seconds of blast, 30 seconds of this low, and then 30 seconds right up here. And then after that, we'll get to our body work, okay? So here we go. 30 seconds right here, slow breathing, and let's do that. <clears throat> and I'm working lightly, low right here. Doing a little bit of in-place runs. Right now I'm not worried about my technique, but I do want to make sure that I'm hitting with my knuckles. I don't want to hit with my fingers. I forgot to mention that I've got boxing gloves covering the whole fist. I'm not using MMA gloves, I'm using boxing gloves because I want to protect my hands. 30 seconds right here. 30 second blast. Up here, you go a little bit of a little bit faster. Straight punches from the face. And easy breathing. Good. 30 seconds. Up, 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 up. And after that's done, back down here, nice and light. This is just, we're gonna keep this one, these uh, sets short. But in real life, at home, you could do as many as you want, whatever you wanna do. Right here, nice and easy. When you reach 30 seconds, we go our blast again up high with straight punches, firing from the face when we do that one, okay? Yet though, right up here, 30 seconds. My palms are down. Hitting with the two knuckles, going a little faster, a little bit faster on my feet too. Of course, it depends on what you're comfortable with. You, yeah, nice and easy. Body shots, hook to the body, hook to the head, jab to the body, cross the body. I'm gonna be on this side so you can see. So <clears throat> our fundamentals apply with the jab. Back heels off the floor. Knees are bent, elbows in, my chin right into my shoulder, my rear hand right at my face. Now, I'm gonna drop my level as I do this, see? I drop my levels, in other words, I'm bending my knees. I am doing a squat. My weight is a little bit forward, I'm gonna push off of that back foot. It's still a jab, but this hand is right here. So this is a jab to the body. <laughs> Just like that. I want to keep this hand up here. See? So, get a little bit of a movement. Just like that. You snap it. 
shoot. The application. Now we're doing this to work our legs. Whenever we squat down, we're obviously working our legs. Whenever we go a little bit faster, we're working our cardio. But just so we understand the context, I'm gonna ask my supervisor to come up, Rob. I'm gonna be the one who he beats up. So we're gonna turn around this way. Let's say he's timed me. He's timed me. He's gonna jab my body by squatting underneath my jab. And there, that is the application. That's one application. The other application, I'm gonna put this right at my chin, is to do the same squatting down and throwing the jab, but this time it'll be right at my chin. See, so that's the application. Okay. Let's just work this for 30 seconds. I actually advise you to do this for maybe two minute rounds. If this is, uh, this is the first time, three minute rounds if you're advanced. But for our purposes for the video, we're just gonna do it for 30 seconds. So you can go at your own pace. Again, you're being nice and light. Chin is into the chest. Sorry, chin is into the shoulders. Chin's into the shoulder. Right hand's up here and shoo. Working that jab to the body. Shoo. Snapping it back. Shoo. There's your jab to the body. Working the body. Shoo. Just like that. You can do double, double up on that. Shoo, shoo. Hit the body, hit the head. Shoo, shoo. Or just the body. Shoo. Don't forget to breathe out. There's your jab to the body. Uh, cross to the body. I'm gonna go on this side now. Okay, so when we're doing the cross to the body, I want to bend my knees, drop my level. I am still squatting. Then I'm gonna turn my hip, still turning my hip, keeping my front hand here. I'm gonna just touch it right now, just so we can get the feeling. There is the cross to the body. If you turned it on top over, that's the overhand right. So this is the cross to the body. This is the overhand right. I still squat down. Ideally, I'm doing it at the same time. I'm gonna go a little faster and harder right now. Like this. This is the overhand right. This is the cross to the body. I'm gonna ask Rob to come up here and uh, I'm gonna be the one he beats up. The application for the cross to the body, again, he sees my right hand coming, he drops straight down, and he buries it right into my solar plexus, or in my gut, okay? Um, or, if he really wants to be mean, I'm gonna put my hand right here, he drops straight down and he throws it right there. The overhand right, He's timing my jab. He squats straight down and kind of has his head a little forward, chin in, buries his chin into the shoulder. He'll kind of eat this jab, but that's the overhand right. So once again, squatting and throwing the cross, squatting and throwing the overhand right. The distance, I should talk about range and distance here. <clears throat> I like to think of the distance for throwing punches as if I can kind of extend somewhat my limb that I'm gonna attack with, but there should be a bend. There should be a bend. If I'm here, I'm actually too far because if I'm sparring, the guy's moving. I'm not gonna catch him. If I'm here, I'll be able to catch him. If I'm here, now it's too close. Now I'm smothering my punches. So ideally, well, there's a bend in the, in the limb. So now, Let's just work the cross to the body. Squat and throw that, and then right back up. Or squat and throw that and press. I'll show what the application for these pressing, for the pressing is in a little bit, okay? We'll go over that in just a little bit. But for right now, squat and cross the body. I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna go light. We're gonna go for the video's purposes, 30 seconds. When you actually practice on your own, try to go for two minutes if you can, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds, slow, light, cross the body. And here, shoo, just like that, and just touch, touching, shoo. Cross the body, moving, shoo. 
Just getting the technique down right now. I'm not worried about any setups. I'm not worried about them hitting me back. I'm gonna squat. Working that cross to the body. Just like that. Here we are. Good. All right, hook to the body. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. Uh, your left hook, I'm gonna cross behind here. Your left hook turns this way, see? Palm is down. Some folks like to do it this way. And I'm gonna be honest, some coaches are very adamant. Some coaches are really adamant that it has to be here. Some are really adamant that it has to be here and they both say that each other is wrong. Um, when you throw the hook to the body, however, the palm is up. It almost looks like an uppercut, but it's not an uppercut. It's, a, it's still a circular punch, elbows bent. Uh, I'll do it from here first. You can see my hand position for my guard. So I'm bending, and you notice my chest is now over my thigh. I'm a little forward. Now, my front heel comes up and shoot. this is the shoot. hook to the body. Shoot. Turning the hip. Shoot. I'm gonna turn, get behind you now, right here. Notice, here's the bag. My head goes past a little bit the bag. This arm, this hand has to be right here guarding. My chin still is protected by keeping it buried in my shoulder. See, I'm a little across. See, my shoulder is in line with, with, the, uh, with the target. Now the front heel comes up and the hip turns towards my target. This is the hook to the body. Just like that. I'm not worried about setting it up right now because the bag's not hitting me back. Yes, it's true. The way you train is the way you're gonna fight, but we're here for fitness. So right now we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna worry about getting the technique. So for 30 seconds, with the understanding that it's 30 seconds for the video, two minutes or three minutes when you practice on your own, we're here, dip a little bit, chest over the thigh, 30 seconds, just like that. Good, moving. You can double it. Remember the heel comes up though. That's right there. You can do a body head. You can do it that way. Body head. Hook to the body. Hook body, hook head. Okay. Should show the application for that. So uh, I'm gonna ask my supervisor to come up. I'll go behind the bag. <sighs> Rob has timed me. He's parried my jab. He slips my cross. Now he's right there, ready to get my uh, rib cage. Um, we'll do that again. So here he's, he's parry, shoot, boom. That's the hook to the body, hook to the head. I'm gonna be honest, since we're doing this in the context of fitness, and it's taken from the context of combat sport, I'm gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't do this in a self-defense situation. The reason why is it, you have to set it up and you have time in rounds to set it up. Uh, in a self-defense situation or a street situation or a real world situation, however you wanna call it, there's no time. There's no time for me to get to know this guy. Okay, he's just some drunk, angry guy. Okay, so preferably, I just want to shut it down right to the head. But for sport and for fitness, body shots are great tools. So we've got the jab to the body, cross to the body, hook to the body. Let me say that again. I'll do it from here. We've got the jab to the body, doing it light, cross to the body, hook to the body. Do it from here, jab to the body, cross to the body, hook to the body. Right now, we're not worried too much about doing setups yet. So right now, just practice this. Jab, cross, hook to the body. Well, that kind of is a setup. 
but right now we'll just work it as a combination. So, jab cross. <laughs> Notice with the cross, I've dipped down. Do that again. Jab, as I throw the cross, I already start going down. One more time. Jab, that's where I bend my knees. And now my shoulder lines up with the target, hook to the body. So this is jab, cross, hook to the body. Or jab, cross, hook to the body. I'm going really light right now. Moving, jab, cross, hook to the body. Let's work that at your pace for 30 seconds, with the understanding that when you practice on your own, two minutes. Okay, here we go. Jab, cross, hook to the body. Nice and light. Then we're moving around. Work it. Jab, cross, hook to the body. Moving around. Moving the bag, walking around there, never crossing our feet. Practice some jabs. That's it. Work it again. Jab, cross up the body. And there it is. Earlier, I said not crossing your feet. So this is what I mean. If I'm moving around here, if I'm shuffling, if I shuffle to my left, my left foot goes first. If I shuffle to my right, my right foot goes first. If I walk around, yeah, I, I kind of am crossing my feet there, but I'm out of range. You know, if this was an actual person, he wouldn't be able to hit me. Uh, but here, I'm not gonna cross my feet. Now he can hit me. So what I mean by crossing feet is doing this. Let's say I'm going there. Instead of moving this first, I'm moving that first. Or even worse, I'm doing this first. I don't wanna do this. That's a bad thing, because it's easy to lose balance. And especially if we are dealing with the effects of Parkinson's, now I can really fall, okay? So no grapevines, okay? So if you're moving, if you're moving, let's say I've got my left foot in front, left foot goes first. Right foot, right foot goes first. Right here, that way, that front foot goes first. That way, that rear foot goes first. And by the way, I should, I should mention this too, for explosive movement, yes, my front foot goes first, but my back foot is driving off the ground. It's pushing off the ground. Right now, it's a little hard to see because I'm standing over the floor. How I illustrate that is, if this was the floor, I'm pushing off the ground, see? I'm literally driving off the ground. One more time. So, yes, I am picking up this front foot since I wanna go there. But this foot drives. That's what enables fast and explosive footwork. Same thing that way. Pushing, pushing. Actually, this could be a drill, a warm-up drill on its own. So, one thing to think about, I'm gonna turn my back to the camera, and this is making the assumption that most of us are right-handed boxers, which means you're left hand is in front, that's kind of counterintuitive. Your rear, your, your strong hand is your rear hand. Your rear hand is your strong hand. Right here, I'm gonna go that way. Yes, I'm picking up the front foot. I'm gonna push off of this. Picking up the front foot, push off of this. So I'm pushing, pushing. This could be a drill unto itself. As a matter of fact, let's make that a drill for 30 seconds. Let's practice pushing off the ground just to get used to that. So my back is to you. Push, 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 push. I'm gonna get closer to the bag because we can actually do a little drill with the bag with this footwork. Pushing off the ground. Pushing off the ground. Pushing off the ground. Good. <clears throat> um, just my little thing, since martial arts is a personal interest of mine. Boxers use driving off the ground. Fencers use driving off the ground. Wrestlers use driving off the ground. 
judo practitioners drive off the ground. Really good Taekwondo kickers drive off the ground. So it's universal to all martial arts. And boxing is a martial art, by the way. So I'm facing the bag. Let's do this. Um, once again, I want to be close enough to where my arm is somewhat extended, but has a bend in the elbow. This is too close, but more often than not, a lot of us start way out here. This is too far. This is too far for punching anyway. It's fine for kicking, but not for punching. So right here, this distance. I'm gonna push off the ground. Now I'll throw the hook to the body or head. Here's a hook to the body, hook to the head. Push off of that front foot. Here's a cross. You could also practice a cross to the body, dropping. Okay, push off that uh, body head. Push off of that front foot, body head, drop, and okay. So that's one drill we could do. Let's keep it simple right now. Let's start the first 30 seconds, all head shots. When you go this way, it'll be a hook. When we go this way, it'll be a cross, but all to the head. 30 seconds, we'll start in front. I'll have my back to you. And here we go. Push, push, we're here, push, 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 good. Now let's do sort of the same thing, but with a slight twist. We'll be right here. Push, but I drop my level by bending my knees. Body shot. I'm gonna push back. I'm gonna go this way now. Drop my level by bending my knees. Body shot. So push, push. You might be wondering, can you ever throw a hook to the body with your right? Yeah, you can. Sort of like an uppercut, actually. You can do this. My coach, Don Serator, who uh, used to fight out of the Circle Star Theater, for those of you Bay Area folks who remember that place, the Circle Star Theater, Redwood City. Yeah, that was, that's where my coach used to fight out of. He would turn totally sideways to hide his right and he would like uh, shield up from straights and drop his level here. And this is what he would do. Hitting that right to the body, right to the head. So yes, you can do a hook to the body this way. You can totally do that, okay? Right now though, we'll keep it simple. Hook here, straight right there, okay? Let's do that for 30 seconds. Here we go, my back is to you. And to the body. This one. And. If you stay down the whole time, you'll really work your legs. Yes. Your thighs will burn. Good. All right, let's go ahead and work that upside down right to the body. And let's uh, start it with a jab. We're gonna start with a jab right here. We're gonna start it with a jab up high. Again, I'm pushing off of my back foot. When I do this, as I do that jab forward, I drop my level. So now I'm already right at the target. So one thing to think about is you drop to the level of your target. Drop to the level of the target. So this is my target here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drop to that level and do either that or that. You see, my target is right here, not here. Drop to my level right here. Not here for boxing, I should say. Actually, uh, kickboxers do do this. And that's because they don't wanna get kicked in the face as they drop down. 
So there's pros and cons. But right now we're doing straight boxing. So uh, this is our setup. Shoot in the jab, drop down, upside down cross. See, turn that hip, shoot, just like that. One more time, right here, right there. Let me go this side. Uh, so I'm here, shoot in the jab, upside down cross. I'm gonna just touch the, uh, touch the bag right now. I'm just gonna touch the bag right now, really light, but we are gonna work that jab, then uh, upside down cross or hook to the body, right hook to the body uh, for 30 seconds. Here we go. And just nice and light. Okay, then moving this way, moving again. You can add that other punch too, see? You can work that as well. But just want to keep that. That's fine. Slipping, slipping to the outside of the bag. And a few more. Okay. Ooh. This is a common one. One side, the other side. Remember, you squat to the level of your target. And you get your body across the bag. One other thing too, if this is my target, if I'm hitting with my left, my right shoulder lines up. If I'm hitting with my right, my left shoulder lines up with the bag, okay? So, real quick, before we even throw any punches, now we're gonna get really close to the bag. You know, I could almost put my head right here. And a lot of times you will see boxers just dig in and put their heads right on each other's shoulders. Okay, so I'm gonna practice one side, the other. Dip, dip. Get each opposite shoulder or side of your arm lined up with the bag. Don't even throw any punches yet. Let's do that for 30 seconds. Just practicing that. Use our legs here. Here we go. Hands are up high. And we're just practicing dip, 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 dip. You can repeat. Dip, 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 dip. Or if you just want to alternate, dip one side, dip the other, dip one side, dip the other. That gets dizzying though. So that's why I like to go here, here, and then start right here. Okay. That's it. Good. Dip, dip. 30 seconds. I'll have my back to the camera now. This way. Good. Let's just build on that. Lining up our shoulders with the bag by kind of leaning into it. So now, I'm gonna be dipping, pressing with my shoulder, dipping, pressing with my shoulder, dipping, pressing with my shoulder, dipping, pressing with my shoulder. I don't wanna to put too, too much weight on it though. Just a little bit of a press, but I still wanna have my weight over my feet. I should show what the application is. I'm gonna ask my supervisor, Rob. <sighs> Rob's been, Rob's been beating me up lately. So now I'm gonna, I'm not the one who's gonna beat him up, but I'm gonna one, I'm gonna be the one who stops him from beating me up. We're here. <laughs> if he's like really wailing on me, now it's against the rules in boxing. This is already wrestling. If you grab him right here, you can't do that. But you can do this. You will see a lot of this. Were they pressing, you know, they're pressing on each other, pressing, pressing. You will see a lot of that because if you're pressing on this arm, like if Rob presses on my arm here, I can't, I mean, I can sort of hit him, but I can't get as much power on it. It's just short of, put your hand on me here, of doing that, which is against the rules. But this, it's basically checking. It's basically checking, thank you. So, you don't want to put too much weight because obviously, you know, if the guy's putting so much weight on me, I could scoop him and trip him and make him fall, right? You don't want to do that. But just a little bit. So let's practice this now, just for, just for 30 seconds. And then we'll show you why you shouldn't put so much weight in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna have my back to you. And we're getting really close. Shoulder check, shoulder check. Shoulder check, shoulder check. Shoulder check, shoulder check. 
you can pivot around shoulder check shoulder check shoulder check you can pivot around shoulder check shoulder check i'll step around check 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 just like there and around check good i'll show you why you shouldn't put so much weight however and rob's gonna be a mean person to me i'm gonna put too much weight on him and he's gonna so i'm here i'm putting so much weight rob just takes this hand scoops behind my elbow there you go that's why you don't want to put too much weight okay let's incorporate the shoulder checks both uh to set up the punches as well as after the punches okay so after the punches would work like this i'm doing a jab cross hook to the body hook to the head jab cross hook to the body hook to the head assuming that i haven't knocked this person out he's hitting back so i don't want him to hit me so i'll shoulder check him shoulder check him and i'll pivot around do a double jab and now i'll do the same thing here let me go slowly this is a jab cross drop down hook to the body hook to the head shoulder check shoulder check i'll scoop him i'm never gonna reach out big like that i have to reach big so the camera can see what i'm doing and i'll step around double jab boom boom now we're back here again jab cross hook to the body hook to the head shoulder check shoulder check pivot around double jab right now i'm tapping so you should never do arm punches like i'm doing so if you don't have a heavy bag and you don't like your roommate use your roommate but if you don't have that <laughs> shadow it shadow it you know when you're shadow boxing you could still do that right so let's say you don't have a bag at home jab cross hook to the body hook to the head i'm imagining you kind of have to use your imagination here imagining that there's an opponent here i'll check i'll check pivot double jab that's what i'll do so you do have to use your imagination if you don't have a bag pivot i'm going to turn my back to you so this is from an orthodox stance left side forward my weight is a little bit forward on my front foot i take my back foot and i spin around quarter turn if i do the other way my weight is on that front foot i kind of push off the ground step pivot this way so these are pivots there's that spin and there's that spin actually let's do that for 30 seconds just pivoting pivoting and let's use the back uh, not to hit but as a guide outside pivot on the bag i'm on this side of the bag good i'm in front inside pivot of the bag i'm on this side outside pivot i'm on the outside of the bag inside pivot i'm on this side of the bag outside pivot i'm on this side of the bag inside pivot this side of the bag good outside pivot so you're using the pivots to move yourself in position to fire your punches in a favorable position i should demonstrate what the application is for that i'll borrow rob Rob is half my age, twice my size. He can kick my rear end six ways to Sunday if we stood toe to toe. So I have to cheat if I ever were to spar with Rob. See, if we're right here, we would be in exchange. I would lose at this exchange. He's stronger than I am. However, no matter how much stronger a person is, if he can't hit you, it's a little harder for him to hit me if I'm over here now, <laughs> okay? So that's the whole point of pivoting. All right, uh, that's easier said than done because actually Rob would be moving around too. So, but that's the idea. Okay, I was demonstrating the pivots with light punches. Now I'd like you to practice this right here. You're here, practice pivoting and throw a fire combination. Okay, move around. You're right here, pivot this way, fire a combination. This one, since I'm on this side, I actually wouldn't start with the jab. I mean, I'll hit him, 
but there won't be as much power. I'd rather throw here. Okay, so this is the cross body head. One more time, cross body head. I'm going light, I'm putting more arm instead of my body because uh, I want to go light. But, so, we're here, pivot, jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. We walk around, get here, pivot that way, cross, uppercut, hook. Okay, we're right in front. Now, if there's an opponent here, I wouldn't reposition at this range because he'll be throwing at me and he can hit me. But for our purposes, for fitness, uh, it's not as important. Though, of course, the way you train is the way you're gonna fight, right? Uh, so anyway, just something to think about. So let's just work one side. Outside pivot, then jab cross, body, head. We'll get right back. You know what, just for good, just for a good habit, as I get back there, I'm gonna be out of range first. Then I'll gradually get in range. Outside pivot, out of range. Moving here, outside pivot, out of range. Then right back here. Let's work that for 30 seconds. Here we go. Here's a pivot. Out of range, shuffle. Again, here's a pivot. Out of range, here's a pivot. Out of range, right back here. I'm gonna pivot. Right back here. Here it is. Good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Well, not really the same thing because it's an inside pivot, cross, body, head. We'll do that slowly a couple of times. So, inside pivot, cross, body, head. Do that two more times slowly. Here it is, inside pivot, Cross, body, head. Last time, right here. And cross, body, head. I'm gonna go somewhat slowish, light. That side, I'll have my back to you. Here we go, 30 seconds. Drive with that pivot. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay, we're back here, out of range. And here it is. Yeah. Practice those slipping. We'll do that again. Here. I'll check first. Now I'll be out here. Do that again. Check, check. Good. I said we weren't gonna work setups. Till now, let's work a setup. Setups are things like fakes, faints. Um, for our purposes, however, it's gonna work our imagination, work our mind, work our cognitive skills, and coordination. I'd like a little head check, head faint, head faint. If I'm gonna use a fake or a faint, it has to be explosive. It cannot be light because it has to initiate a reaction from my opponent. So if I'm doing a fake, I can't do this, I can't do this, and I can't just stomp like that. It has to be a little bit of a fake, a little bit of a explosiveness. So head faint. I wanna make my opponent think I'm going there, get a reaction there. I'll faint my head this way. Then I push off and get the other direction. So if this was my opponent, with two hands facing me, and he's bigger and stronger than me, and a lot of people are, I don't want to throw right here. That's a brawl, and I'll lose. But if I'm a little bit out of range, and I fake with my head convincingly, and get a reaction to where he's thinking to his right, now I push up on my front foot, pivot out here. Now, 
I only have one side of him I have to deal with. On the other hand, he's got two sides of me he has to deal with. Even though I'm not as strong, his strength doesn't do him much good at this point. Now I can work. I work my work my uh, work uh, dropping bombs on him. Okay. Is that politically correct to say that? Dropping bombs? I don't know. All right. So here is a little bit of a fake. Head faint. You just relax. Practice that little head faint there. Okay, head faint that way. Okay, that's just something to think. So we're not gonna do a, the 30 second drill for this. It's just something you can do on your own. You get up in the morning, combing your hair, look in the mirror, see if you could fake out. Uh, you see your wife, hi honey, how you doing? Like that, you know, don't do that too much because she'll get mad. Okay, you see uh, ladies, you see your husband, you fake him out and if he jumps, so oh, that's too bad. Okay, but practice a little bit of a faint. It's sort of like saying boo, you know, when you were kids, you would boo on each other, you know, boo, right? Try to scare each other. It's kind of like that, okay? Head faint, head faint. So something to think about when you practice at home, you fighters actually look in front of a mirror and practice their fakes and faints. Same thing with the hip faint. Um, kickboxers use a hip, hip faint because they make you think they're gonna kick here, right? Head, hip faint, turn, and then of course, that's when they would throw some kind of kick, right? Okay, so hip faint, hip faint, shoulder, shoulder. I like the head, head for some reason works naturally for me. Head faint, pivot out. So if I want to get to this side of the bag, I will faint or faint to this side right here. Push off of that front foot, get right here. Now I have this side here. Now I'll throw the, I'll throw that. The application is this. Now I'm gonna practice on, I'm gonna show Rob. If we were kickboxing, again, he's bigger and stronger than me. I'm not, it would be dumb to try to brawl with him. But I might get a little bit of a reaction here and pivot this way. Now, now I've got all of this here all of that there, all of this here, but he's only got one side to deal with. On the other hand, if we were, if I didn't fake first, if I just tried to go there, he'll just position himself. See, I have to fake first. Now it's less, now the chance is easier. Uh, the chance of that uh, landing and getting in position is better. And also, once again, I really don't want to brawl here. What's the point of studying martial arts if you're just brawling? You might as well not even study anything. Anybody can just be a tough guy. But <laughs> a 53-year-old, five foot, what am I? Five foot seven? Five foot seven. Yeah, five foot seven, five foot seven 170 pound guy versus this guy brawling here, I'll lose, okay? I have to cheat and be a little bit out here, okay? So that's the whole point of it. Thanks, Rob. <sighs> By the way, I would never fight Rob. He's a nice guy and plus he pays my bills. So that would be dumb, okay? <clears throat> and I think I would lose anyway. All right, so <clears throat> right here, I'm gonna have my back to you. I'm gonna practice now the faint or faint. Use either your head or your hip or your shoulder. Visualize that you're taking on somebody who flinches. You wanna get a flinch a reaction out of them. Push off of that front foot, inside pivot. Now you've got one side, now practice the jab, hook, hook. Let me go that slowly again. Uh, the tricky part is, remember, I'm going slow. When you do a fake or a feint, it has to be convincing and you can't really do it slow. You have to make it convincing. Push off of that front foot, inside pivot, cross, Hook to the body, hook to the head. Check them first, then reposition. Always get used to the idea that the person's hitting you back. I'm here again, fake, inside, pivot, cross, hook, hook, check, check. Let me do that three more times. Here it is, fake, pivot, cross, hook, hook, check, two more times like that, fake, yeah, cross hook, hook, that's way. And last one. By the way, um, 
I found that not only does this uh, is this move not uh, it's effective for punching. It also works for kicking too, you know. And uh, we're gonna have to do a video on kicks one of these days, right? You know, here, here, shoo, leg kick, right? So that's something to think about. All right, 30 seconds, head fake, inside pivot, cross, body, head, check, reposition. 30 seconds, here we go, my back is to you. Fake, pivot, shoo, shoo, shoo. that way. And reposition. Shoo, shoo, shoo. That way. Reposition. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Ah, one more time. And that way. Shoo, shoo, shoo. That way. I check them. Slower. Shoo, shoo, shoo. All right. Ah. So we've got the fakes, feints, moving around, checking, body position. Our next video, we're gonna go over some bare knuckle stuff without the gloves, okay? Right now, practice this on your own. In front of a mirror, practice your feints. Practice uh, your moving of your feet in the direction you're gonna go. Remember, you drop your body position uh, at your target. And the punches that we worked was, there's a jab, cross to the body, hook to the body. I recommend practicing this several times. Increase the amount of times you repeat it. Uh, having said that, a little bit every day is a lot better than doing two hours one day and then forgetting it the rest of the week, okay? So you're gonna have to find that balance as you get used to these techniques. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll catch you on the next video where we go bare knuckle.